So, one of y'all wants me to do a reaction video to this homeless man gets a home. And uh, this, if you don't know about it, um, I'm, I'm sure they're going to give this man a home. Remember the homeless guy that they, you know, almost pranked in a way? <laughs> and, uh, you know, he, he had to scratch off or, or the winning lottery ticket. And, you know, he gave him like the $1,000 or whatever. And, you know, dude was down on his luck. He started crying and everything, and um, I did a video response to that. I'll, I'll put that in the link. I'll put the link in the description. And basically what I had to say about it, I mean, that was great. You know, it was nice charity. That was nice of him to help that man like that. But if you're not going to teach this man how to sustain himself afterwards, the man will just fall back into his homelessness. It's, you know, it's, it's not going to help. You know, um, I went on a basically a rant, you know, like I said, it was nice what the guy did for him. But, you know, we give so much, but we never teach people. You know, you got all these soup kitchens, you got this and that, you know, but never teach people how to sustain their livelihood sometimes. You know, it's like all these handouts and it enables them and it keeps them weak. All right. That's just the reason why a lot of successful parents end up having these bum ass children because they baby them and coddle them so much coming up and they get everything that they want that the parents forget to teach them and instill in them the, the hard work ethic that it took for them to become middle class, upper middle class or wealthy. Okay, so I'm gonna watch this, but if he doesn't help him find a job something to help keep sustain then you know it's like what's to what's to use you know it's just like okay look at me you know okay i gave him a thousand dollars now i gave him a house i am not talking down about uh magical rahat i'm not talking down to him but what i'm saying is it, don't give somebody you know a house and then they can't afford to pay the taxes on it and Oh, that's all I'm saying. I haven't even watched it yet. I'm not talking shit. It's a good Samaritan thing. So I don't want to hear nothing about, oh, you should be happy that you got it for No, no, no. I haven't even watched it yet. So I'm about to click it right now. Click. Hmm. This is your ass. I was at 12,000 views so and 63,000 likes. So back in March, I a homeless lottery winner where I made a homeless man named Eric think that he won the lottery. The video went viral and gained national exposures from news shows, websites, and hit the front page of both YouTube and Reddit. People were touched by Eric's selfless act of wanting to share the money and kept sending me emails and messages asking how they can directly donate to him. So we set up a fund where people could donate online to Eric. In 17 days, the internet raised $44,000 for Eric. I want to take this time to thank everyone from the bottom of my heart who has contributed to the fundraiser. Again, thank you. I'm grateful for your help and generosity. So this is how we're going to break down the fundraiser money. 11000 will go towards rent for one year in a house I found for him. 3700 will go towards furniture and appliances. 2900 will go towards utilities, water, cable, internet, and insurance. 5000 will go towards house supplies, clothes, and food. And the rest of the money will go into a joint bank account that Eric can access and I can monitor. I want to make it clear that none of this fundraiser money will be used by me. This is strictly Eric's money. So now I'm going to surprise Eric with the house and give him a tour. Hope you guys enjoy. Go get him a job. So this is Eric's new house. Um, it's pretty empty in here. We're in the living room right now. We're gonna go out, get new furniture, get new appliances. I hope Eric can get find his own house job. Needs and we're gonna because so, he's uh, got a year's rent. Wait, I'm excited. If. Let's do if if you can't pull yourself up by your bootstraps after getting a house and all this money to, to get yourself together, that'd be a complete failure. Now I'm not being negative. I'm just saying, like I said, plenty of you out there have taken a family member in. And I'm, Eric seems like a nice guy. I don't know why he's homeless. No, no, no. I'm not saying he's irresponsible. Something bad really could happen in his life. I'm not saying it. You've taken in a family member before that was down on their luck. Oh, I can't find a job. They was homeless. Whatever it is. And then you couldn't wait to get them the fuck out of your house. 
because you did nothing but enable them. You were feeding them. You were paying all their bills. They eat up all your food. See, if I take in a family member, I'm going to teach them how to become self-sustained, self-efficient, self-sufficient, just like me, okay? So that I'm only helping him temporarily or her so that they can so be a man on their done. own. Setting up the house, woman borrowing on books to own. surprise Eric with it, and uh, we'll see you guys then. Hey. <laughs> hey, sorry, yeah. Good to see you, big bro. How you doing, sir? Good, good. How are you? Got some good news for you there. Oh, I would love to hear that. Yes, We're living in a motel. What do you have? <laughs> You're kidding okay. me, right? So he went and got his oh, own hotel. Yes, that's all good. <laughs> I mean, if you have nothing to do. Okay. Cool. Look at that. He did what I did. He got a job. Started living in a motel. So you know he's saving just like I was. Probably gonna get himself an apartment. I got went in a ended up renting a condo for me and my brother. So ours was nice. you never you never been to my house. Two bedrooms, two full bathrooms, fireplace. Kitchen with an island, wrap around, all that shit. We had a good time. Balcony, everything. Loved it. So that's good. I'm happy that man pulled himself up. He probably needed that boost in positive, positive energy with that thousand dollars he gave him. Probably felt, so, made him felt really good about life. To be honest with you, this isn't really my so they just brought him in. It's yours. He gonna start crying again. I know he is. <laughs> You have to be kidding me, right? He go, I'd break down if I was him. Oh, big bro, you got to be kidding me. We, we <laughs> so this is all working out good. <laughs> Take care of yourself, oh, man. God, are you serious? This is a second oh, chance, serious. brother. Oh my God. Definitely take care of yourself. Oh my god. Don't never you fall know, into that slump again. I know what it's like to be homeless. I'll never be it again. Oh Trust my me. God. No, 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 my God. Oh my god. Oh my god. Check that out and click the video on the bottom to see the original homeless lottery winner. 
All right, y'all. It all worked out. That's what I'm talking about. As long as you, you know, don't just give people. Give, 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 give. Because it just keeps them weak. It really does. But that man, after he was given that $1,000, it looks like he said, nah, I'm, I'm not going to be down on myself anymore. And he actually pulled himself up and got himself a job because he surprised him. He's like, I got a surprise for you. I got a job. That's what I'm talking about. So he's, 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 he's got a second chance at life again. And he got a bonus to it because you know he's going to get his own place. But now he's got a free house. American then hooked him up with a house. I don't even know about that fundraiser. But um, that was pretty cool. All right, y'all. Post your, po your um, comments below. Let me know what you think. One million subscribers. Woo!